Hi there, and welcome to Sketchpad I.O. Project 1, Circle Painting. I recommend that you first watch this tutorial without pausing it, and then, when you are ready to work, play the tutorial again and pause it along as you work, while having Sketchpad in another window open on your computer. Not required, but I also recommend using a mouse for digital art making, as it will certainly be much easier to move around. In today's lesson, I'm going to demonstrate how to make a circle painting. The goal of this project is to become familiar with the drawing and painting tools. What they look like, changing the color, changing the stroke, which is the line thickness, deleting, and using the paint bucket. Feel free to use and explore any other tools you would like, but please do not use the clip art tool. We'll be making our own art. First, we must prepare our canvas. For today's project, make an 8 by 8 inch square canvas. Let's go to the sidebar and click on the new button. It looks like a plus sign. In the first section, which is the preset size, let's make sure it's set to custom size. In the set units, select inches. And for width, let's highlight the existing number, type in 8, and for height, do the same, 8 again. For your canvas, let's select a blank one and create. Now, as good practice, you will need to zoom into your canvas to see all four corners. This is easily done if you are using a mouse with a scrolly by scrolling up and down on the wheel, or simply slide the slide bar on the screen up and down on your trackpad and using this slider right here. You can also place your mouse and cursor in the center of your canvas and adjust it to your liking. Again, it's important and good practice to see all four corners on your canvas when you're first starting out your project. Now we're ready to paint. Click on the tools button to open your tool panel and select the drawing and painting tool that is there. It's usually the last one you used. Here I have a stamp tool, so I will click on it and choose another tool. Then choose a color in the outline box. Click in the outline box and select your color. You can also change the transparency of your color in the water drop simply by sliding with your finger or your mouse the percentage of how much you want of that color. Transparency is how solid or see-through you want that color to be. Choose a line weight or thickness of your line in the scroll bar. The higher the number, the thicker the line. The smaller the number, the thinner the line. Now let's paint a simple circle. If you want to delete it, just click the back arrow and choose a different tool or color and stroke and line weight and make your circle again. In my case, I'm going to leave what I have already. Make various circles in all different sizes, overlapping some of them, using different tools. No clip art, different colors, and different line weights. No two circles should look the same.
Now, if you need to delete any of these circles, simply select your selection key, which is your arrow, and click on whatever, whichever circle you'd like to delete. Tap the delete bar button on your keyboard. In this case, I'd like to keep all of them. For the last part of this project, I'd like to fill in some of the white areas with a solid color. For that, I'll select my paint bucket, make sure it's set to pixel fill, and select a color in my color wheel. And simply click in the areas of my project, like this, Maybe add a different color. Done. Now to save this project, come to your export button. Looks like a floppy disk. Select JPEG. Your project will now be saved to your downloads folder in your computer. Your file not, must now be renamed. Please visit and watch tutorial saving and renaming your project file.